Hello again, welcome back. Now uh, we have to access uh, the instance using SSH and if we don't know the default username and password probably we know of in a Cyrus image we know how what is the username and password but in normally in other cloud images we don't know what is the password there is no default password for the images in that scenario how to access a instance uh, uh, how to access an instance um, from public network using SSH uh, let's see that so if you see that I have already um, downloaded uh, while creating the key pair uh, it will give you access the key pair right we you have already by, uh, downloaded it remember to keep this key pair as long as you have you are using it if you lose it again you have to create and download you and while creating only you have to download and save it because uh, once it will give only one option to uh, download because of the security issues um, it does not allow you to download again okay so if you go there you can see this uh, the key pair but uh, you may not use it uh, you may not download it so it's important that you keep it safe so you see I have uh, downloaded my keypad.pm pem. now uh, I want to just tell you one thing uh, that uh, party it does not accept the file with uh, .pem extension so what we have to do is we have to convert that pem file to a party supported key pair for that what we have to have one software that is party gen these are the two party gen and party we have to have uh, we, we need to to get access to okay to the instance so go ahead and click party gen and here there is a button called load click it load and now i have in the download folder i have it here you see that dot ppk file it recognizes but i have the dot pem file which is this one right so click all files and so that you can see the pem file open it see successfully imported okay uh, uh, so now the what you have to do is just save the private key we have already the public key available uh, on price stack you see that this is the public key available what we need is, is a private key save with private key and say are you sure yes and um, I can give a name my key pair dot ppk okay my key pair so that it by default it will take in dot ppk format save it that's all we need uh, we have converted converted uh, the pem file into dot ppk file now open party and go to the session here what is the ip we have uh, the instance ip okay take the public ip put it here port is 22 of course for ssh data put the go to uh, here connection and data now here you have to give the username that we know it Cyrus right and in the SSH here expand it and go to auth here there is a browse button click that and my okay th this is not the key okay sorry uh, you see that is in download this is a different key i have kept so download and my key pair dot ppk open it the sub and go to session and give a name to save it cyrus or maybe you can write this a uh, test because that's the test environment we have test uh, instance we have so give a name as test and just save it so that you know that this is the test 
Now, uh, just to log in, you don't have to give any password. Just if you open this, I'm sure it will be able to log in directly. Yes, we are done. You see that I am logged in. Right? This 192.168.1.3 is my IP. That is the test machine. Right? And host. what the host name? Serras. So okay. So uh, that's all. Uh, here now we could access this instance using PuTTY using the uh, key pair and uh, now in my next video we'll see how can we uh, create a volume and we can attach that volume to this instance and also we'll see how I can boot a instance from a volume rather than the image if you see that if I delete this, why I there is a difference is if I delete this instance, I'll not have any data remaining on my disk because it is uh, this disk particularly is a ephemeral disk. Like if you um, terminate this instance, all the data with the instance are gone. The data will not be retained anyway. So if you create a volume now and you boot the volume or uh, you boot an instance from this volume then you have a choice to keep that volume after you shut down the instance so we'll see that in my next video and thank you very much for watching